With three million hits on the internet, Roxy the raccoon has become a bit of a social media sensation. What are you doing? Although this behavior may simply look cute, what's truly remarkable is this could be evidence of tool use in a raccoon, which we know is only normally associated with the most intelligent animals. She gets a rock and knocks on my door. Roxy, using a stone to bang on the glass to call for her dinner, suggests just how clever this wild animal has become. The behavior of Toronto's raccoons and the antics of Pumpkin and Roxy helps prove that wild animals become more intelligent when they master human environments. Playfulness and curiosity are demonstrated by the most intelligent animals. And in this remarkable new footage, a manatee appears to be using a tree stump to scratch itself. Which could be evidence of tool use in manatees, a behavior only known in clever animals. So appearances can be deceptive. I think there's a lesson in here for all of us because we tend to be very impressed by fast moving creatures such as predators. We're less impressed in terms of what we think cleverness or intelligence entails by a mammal, in this case a manatee, that's slow moving. Those are the animals we kind of consider boring or stupid. But manatees are not, as some people might think, just slow and dim-witted. Rather, there are processes going on that it's up to us to learn to appreciate. Scientists have discovered a very unexpected relationship between two very different animals. Remote cameras at Shushluwiyum Umfolosi Park in KwaZulu-Natal have captured footage that's not just amazing researchers at the park, but the online community all over the world. The internet went wild. Our website crashed. Uh, we got so many views and so many comments on it. A research camera in the park had captured images of a cat-like predator called a genet appearing to ride on the back of a rhino and a buffalo. This Janet has been such an internet sensation. We have nicknamed it Janet Jackson. Wow, that yeah. is those new cameras. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. the new site. We should try and the first to spot Janet Jackson's antics, researchers Taryn Gilroy and Dave Druce have been trying to work out what's behind this strange relationship. The Janet's bizarre behavior goes against everything we know about these animals. Janets are nocturnal, and although they resemble cats, actually belong to a separate group of carnivorous mammals. They're timid and solitary, and wouldn't normally be seen near buffaloes and rhinos. A small predator like the genet always try to avoid conflict and bumping into other animals that can injure them or squash them. So you would think that they're trying to avoid each other. For example, if a rhino was coming down a path and the genet was on the path, the genet would just get out the way as quickly as possible. Very strange that they're even together. What's more, by studying their different markings, the team have realized that at least three genets have been recorded behaving in this way. The clarity is amazing. Determined to find out more, Dave and Taryn set up additional cameras and finally managed to capture the genet's acrobatics on video. Once again, in the middle of the night, a genet had hitched a ride on a rhino. Yeah. <laughs> Just holding on. That's amazing. The video held vital clues about what the genet is doing, and it's rather ingenious. I'd probably go for the theory that it's catching something as it's coming past the rhino. This genet leans down and appears to grab an insect. The rhino is disturbed that the genet has just gone down and caught with its mouth. As the rhino eats from the bush, it flushes out insects that the genet swoops down and catches. Then the rhino gets a fright from the still camera that flashed. And all the while, the genet holding onto the back of the rhino into the darkness. The genets seem to have worked out that riding on the back of larger animals was a brilliant new way for grabbing a meal. Animals don't do things without a reason. 
But I think the genets figured out this isn't a good way of getting food every now and again, and it's just exploiting that. These images show a highly unusual example of an animal taking advantage of, but not harming another. Dave and Taryn are now installing more cameras to see how many other genets are doing this, establishing just how widespread this intriguing and previously unknown relationship is. In British Columbia on the west coast of Canada, this footage caught on camera phone shows a family of killer whales, or orcas. They are one of the ocean's smartest mammals, and this group is behaving in a truly bizarre way. Holy moly. Oh my god. This is crazy. Could these highly unusual orca antics give us new insight into the sophisticated ways that these amazing marine mammals socialize and communicate? This group had come right into the shoreline and appeared to be rubbing their bellies on the pebbles. Marine biologist Jackie Hildering has observed this behavior firsthand. The first time I ever witnessed the behavior it was actually only hearing it and not seeing it. I had an underwater microphone so I could hear the whales communicating back and forth. But also I could hear the rocks then over one another as you had these long skids uh, across uh, the smooth rocks. Jackie's convinced that the orcas were deliberately rubbing their bodies along the pebbles. They'll get down low and scratch every part of their bodies, skidding across smooth rocks. At first, scientists thought that this was an extreme orca exfoliation, that the killer whales were trying to remove parasites from their skin. But if this was a purely practical habit, you'd expect it would be something all the orcas in these waters would do. In fact, researchers know it's only a few groups of orcas who behave in this way. Why on earth would it be that one population would be rubbing off parasites, half parasites, when the others wouldn't? Oh my God. Oh my God. A breakthrough came from listening to the clicks and squeaks from the orcas, which accompanied this belly rubbing behavior. The sheer intensity of their communication suggested a surprising interpretation. The sounds being made, it is quite something. It's the same sorts of excited calls that they make when family groups meet up with one another. So this had to be social behavior. And it probably feels darn good. My belief is it's a whale massage. It seems that taking time out for a feel-good pebble massage is fun for this family. And what's even more extraordinary is that while we've known for some time that orcas communicate survival skills like how to hunt to their offspring, we now have evidence that just like us, they can communicate their social traditions to the next generation. It's absolutely the case that this behavior is passed on from generation to generation. One of the young killer whales in the footage now has her own calves and is teaching them to be shrimp. Oh my god! Oh, baby. 